Lay Lee Lee back with another video and today's video is doing a movie review, uh, review on the movie The Quad which aired on BET and it's going to become a weekly TV episode. So the, the movie is about Dr. Eber Fletcher played by Anika Rose and she is taking on a new job as president of GAMU which is Georgia A&M University. Um, she takes on this job after receiving several rejection offers, and it looks like she is um, in a failed marriage. So um, her husband, um, in the beginning of the movie, her husband's accent told, is pretty much told that she needed to get out their house. So because she's president, her um, that allows her daughter, um, Sydney, to also attend um, Georgia A&M in the freshman class and go for free. So the first step um, with um, Dr. Fletcher is to help to get the, bu uh, get the budget straightened out. And she says she can cut the budget and raise funds by 10%. Um, the board is questioning her capabilities because her background, she came from a well-off family. And she also attended, um, I believe, colleges and she worked at Ivy League colleges, so they was questioning what was she, what do she actually know about running a HBCU? And her reply was, "Excellence is pretty much excellence." Let me go to my notes here. So it highlights um, several students who are all supposed to be um, freshmen. Um, the first student they highlight is um, Cedric. Cedric is from Chicago, Chi Town. And um, it shows him and his girlfriend fleeing from a concert and his girlfriend actually witnessing a murder. Um, so once he get her home, he goes home. His mom is so worried about him because he's a young black male in Chicago and she doesn't want him to end up dead. She told him she's, you know, she's not going to worry herself to death and he needs to get out of here. He's trying to convince his mom that he wants to stay and attend Chicago State. But she said, no, you need to get out of here. Um, so she's um, forcing him to go to Georgia A&M. He gets there. He's set up. He has a roommate. And it looks like the roommate family is pretty much well off. He brought the TV. And then um, Cedric was like, oh, you know, we got a TV. And the roommate saying, no, I got a TV. But they end up looking like they, um, you know, they end up, you know, becoming, um, you know, room, you know, their roommates, they end up becoming good friends. Um, so we'll get back to said in a minute. Then it also focused on um, Ebony, uh, Ebony and Melody. They are both freshmen, uh, freshman girls who are expired, um, um, who um, are trying out to be part of the GAM U Marching Mountain Cats, which is the well known um, marching band and um, the, right now, the margin ban is really what's um, bringing the money into the university because apparently the sports football team is not that great. And so it's the um, support of the band and them being in, winning national titles and traveling across the country it is the band that actually is keep, you know, is bringing, you know, the still bringing some of the notoriety and the prestige to the university. So we um, keep up with Eleni and uh, Melanie. The president, uh, one of her goals is try to bring in revenue. So what she did is went to recruit um, Bo, um, Bo John. Bo John is a, Bo John is a white kid from um, Texas. Um, he um, could have been in a D1 school, but he had an attitude problem. He ended up choking out his coach, and that has um, since blackballed him from getting any type of um, college offers. So her and the coach traveled to Texas where he's from and convinced the dad to, um, you know, play for them. The dad was not feeling it. I think honestly, because he, it was a historical black college because the dad had asked, well, how many people, you know, how, how much, you know, uh, how, I guess he said something like, you know, how much salt you got in, in the, in the South the salt shaker, how many, how much salt you got in the pepper, some crazy little question like that. And then they said, well, if you question, we do have a couple other white players playing for the team. And the boy really wanted to go, but the dad seemed like he was not convinced, but somehow they, they end up letting Bo John come to, you know, play for the um, university. 
So when he got there and got acclimated, coach told him, you know, um, I know what you have done in the past, but if you tried it with me, you won't live to see another day. So the coach pretty much said, you ain't going to put your hands up on me. So let me see here, going through my notes. Um, yeah, okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, where do I go from here? Let's go back to um, Ebony and Melanie. Um, so they both tried out for the band. Now, Melanie has, you know, she's been wanting to be a mountain cat as long as she could remember, she said she'd been playing the saxophone uh, since she was six. She knew all the um, all the history and the pride behind the band. She knew how many instruments the band director played and all that good stuff. But she ended up not making the band. But her homegirl, um, Ebony, does make the band. So, you know, Melanie is salty. I would have been salty, too. And, um, but she says she's going to support Ebony. So, you know, Ebony's finding her way adjusting, you know, making, you know, just amazed that she's in this band and she's performing. And one day they come in, I guess, you know, after practice or whatever. So she end up getting into a hazing incident and, um, she end up being hospitalized in critical condition. The band director tried to tell Dr. Fletcher, the president, that, you know, it was a mishap. She, you know, couldn't keep up with the choreography. But anybody can good as well see that she got beat the hell down. So she's in the hospital and, you know, Cedric comes to visit her and uh, Melanie comes to visit her. And I guess some, some band people uh, check, up on, check up on her too just to make sure I guess she ain't snitching. So Dr. Fletcher wanted to make sure... You know, she wanted to have um, Ebony, I mean, Melanie report. And Melody had agreed to report, but then she up and reneged once um, Dr. Fletcher brought in the lawyers, um, brought in an attorney uh, to state the case. And then Ebony's, uh, Ebony's uh, parents end up coming to get her. They said, we don't want a lawsuit. We don't want her name tied to this monster. We're going to take her back home and... and help her get well and, and you know li you know move on with life so this snake in the grass the band director which is Cecil diamond um he end up because her roommate mel is melody melody knows everything he end up offering melody um ebony's position on the band so she can shut up ebony wanted it so bad i mean melody wanted it so bad she said to hell with it i don't know what's going on it is what it is Going back to um, Sydney now Sydney decided to, uh, which is the president's door, Sydney decides she don't want to live in the president's mansion with her mom. She wants to, you know, be free. So she ended up meeting some white girl at a party. They smoke a joint. They become good friends. And they um, decide to move in, uh, move in together. So she's joining um, the girl on campus and they're roommates. So, um... Sydney's trying to find her way. I think she she's kind of, you know, interested in Bo John, the white football player. So I don't know if something's going to pick up with them, but she has an interest in them. Then she also um, ends up, she's like a wild child. She ends up going to this fraternity party and playing um, strip, strip poker, strip cards, so she, of course, she's uh, winning and she's losing and she's playing cards and she's losing um, some articles of clothing and she's just drinking her life away. And by the time her friends get there, um, instead of her wanting to take off more clothes, she ended, she ended up, um, she ended up um, doing a dare and they dared her to, um, you know, kiss a girl and then she ended up passing out. And then one of the fraternity members discovered that she's the, uh, she's the president's daughter. So, of course, they don't want to get their fraternity in trouble. So what they do is they throw her in the car and take her to the president's house. And they spare it off because they don't want no, no um, knowledge that she's involved. She was involved with their fraternity or she got drunk with their fraternity. Um, going back to Cedric. Now, Cedric is here. Um, 
he's trying to get his music game off the um, music thing off the ground. You know, he's performing at parties. You know, he's working in the studio, using up his mama credit card, which the, um, she's not thrilled about. But he really want to make this music um, jump, jump off. So his girlfriend, Chantel, remember I said they was in the beginning of the picture, they end up, she witnessed a murder. So she said she came down there to um, visit him, but in all in all, she came down there because she was running from these people that's after her. So um, moving on, okay, one second. Moving on from there, Dr. Fletcher. So we get back to Dr. Fletcher. Um, something I noticed about her, it was a young man that showed up on her doorstep. And um, what happened was the fact that, um, you know, he was talking about he missed her boo and blah, blah, blah. So what we discovered, they end up, you know, doing the do, get down with the get down. And then he tells her, you know, oh, I go to school here now. So fast forward, apparently this is somebody she cheated on her husband with. She cheated on her husband with a graduate student at the university that she was working at. And then, you know, of course, it um, he ended up um, exposing their relationship. And that was part of the reason she resigned from her um, previous job as a president. And they also, um, in, a, in a way, because of that scandal, she slept with students. She, um, you know, got blackballed. So that was kind of part of the reason why she was having a hard time getting a job and ended up taking the job at Georgia A&M. Uh, I'm skipping around here. Um, so let me see here. So Sydney wakes up from her alcohol poisoning and she's all good. She's hugging her mom. So let's go back to Cedric. So um, Cedric um, and his girlfriend, they are out um, at a um, concert He's trying to give his music to this rapper, and the rapper wasn't feeling it, and tossed the music out, and then all of a sudden, Ch Chantel ended up disappearing. And what happens is Chantel is found dead, and um, the police come uh, and they arrest Cedric because they believe he's um, he's part of the reason um, he's 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 guilty of her murder. Let me see. Is there anything else I forgot here? Okay, Bo, Bo John and up the, the coaches and the staff is impressed by Bo John's performance. So they do um, offer him, I think he gets to be the second string of the football team. So um, that's an accomplishment on his behalf. And uh, who was that? The Perry... Perry Wrinkle, it was the vice president of the university. He's working to plot with... Um, Cecil Diamond to bring the president down because apparently the president she has got the code of conduct approved by the board of trustees and she put in a clause that it is zero tolerance uh, for hazing or mistreatment or physical abuse of students. Um, so what happened is um, Perry Winkle and Cecil they belong to the same fraternity that Sydney had ended up getting drunk at. So the fraternity brothers sent pictures to Perry Winkle and they're looking like they're going to use that as um, blackballing um, him, blackballing, um, blackballing the president, Dr. Fletcher. Um, and because their goal is to try to get her out because reality, Perry Winkle wants that position. Well, that's just a quick overview of the two hour movie. I'm getting ready to watch the episode one. That is it. That's all. Stay tuned for more videos. If you're a subscribe, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for watching. Have a good evening.